All right, in less than 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how you can create um, a dynamic website inside of your fan page. And here's how. It's very simple. You go to the management area. Once you're in the management area, I'm going to show you the first mode. The first mode is creating pages. It comes with the default home. Once you have a page, you have now to create a media box. So we're going to drop a media box here and click Save Layout. Now that we've done that, we have a media box inside the home page. Now we need to add content. To add content, you have to go to mode, the second mode, which is the Edit Pages. This here is where you add content into your media boxes. Let's add some content. I have created some artwork that I'm going to upload. Click on the image icon, then Upload. Now that you have the image icon right here, you have to send it to the server. Once you upload it, it's here available for you to use. It's 490 width, beautiful, that's how I want it. Click OK. Let me just delete this, which is a default stuff, great. You can add text, you can control the text size, you can add headers. Uh, you could do whatever you like for now. We're just going to add this and you can also make a link, which is very easy. You double click it, go to the link and add where you want it to link to. For now, let's just keep it this image, simple image. All right. Now that we've added the image, let's control the media box header. Uh, we don't, I don't want any headers. Here it says media box. By default, you can add whatever you want. Welcome, anything you would like. I'm going to hide it. Click save. And now let's go look at it. All right, here's our first uh, artwork. I like the picture. I really don't like this. It's bluish and it's not very nice. Let's go to the management area and simply and easily change the theme. You go to the appearance and with two clicks, you select the theme you like. I am going to select um, this greenish one. I like this one. Okay, okay, and let's go view it. All right, now that we have changed the theme, we can decide, okay, this is nicer, I like it, let's continue with it, great. Now let's go add another tab here. We have home, let's add Twitter. All right, so we go to step one, one more time. It's really two steps. Step one, creating a page. Let's create a page, let's call it Twitter. All right, here we go. Twitter, and I'm gonna add it after the home tab. All right, click save. Now that we have Twitter, it's blue, that means it's current page we're working on. We need to add a media box. All right, here's a media box. We've added it. Click Save. And now let's go to Edit Page, which is Mode 2. All right, one more time. This is just what we did a while ago. Here's Twitter. Here's the media box. Now let's add the Twitter code. I've already been to Twitter and I got all the way I, I've got the code and everything ready I'm just going to grab it here we go click OK Woo, these colors are awful let me just change it to greenish uh, greenish quickly there we go nice done next greenish mm. All right, that's okay. Done. Finish and grab. Okay. Let's go back. All right, so now that we're here at the media box, click edit. Source. You have to click source to add code. Any code has to be under source. Here we go. Looking good. Click save. And now we go to settings. We're not done yet settings and you have to say iframe run it in iframe any code pretty much flash or javascript you have to run it in iframe but you can't run um, just simple pictures and text in iframe you will get an error so me module title i'm just gonna say i don't want a module title all right beautiful so now we saved it let's look at it let's see what we have so far when someone lands on our page this is what's going to happen beautiful look how the home the artwork and if they click on twitter all right, great, and, and as you can see, your tweets right here, not many tweets here, but you get the drift. All right, so let's go back now and create another page. I'm gonna add my YouTube channel, how about that? Create the same, one more time, it's very simple. You go to management area, 
same step one and step two we did on the first tabs. We go to tabs and layout and we create the page. We have to create a page first. Once we create a page, we're going to call it whatever we want, YouTube. And this time, I'm going to put it under Twitter. I don't want to create, um, actually, no, let's create it uh, after Twitter. Here we go. All right, now we have YouTube. Let's add a media box. As always, you have to add a media box. Drag, drop. You can add two or three media boxes and run a couple of scripts at the same time. But for now, let's just do one. Save. You have to save. And then again, we go to mode, the second mode, which is edit pages. Now that if we clicked on edit pages, we have to click on YouTube. Now that we're here, we have to add the YouTube code. I have it ready right here from a website called uh, widgetbar, uh, widgetbox.com. I have it all set up. I like it. Beautiful. Okay. Get widget and copy. And we go back. Edit. Source again. You have to enter it in source. It's a source code, has to be in source. Click save. Settings. We want to run it in iframe. Always remember, code has to run in iframe, and I'm going to say, I don't want to name the, the header. I don't want a header for this. Great, so now we have YouTube. Let's check it out. Go to view page. It's nice to, ch to check out whatever you're doing as you go. View page. There we go. Beautiful. Let's click YouTube. Oh, that's so awesome. Now we have YouTube. Great. Now let's add contact us. This is the last tab I'm going to create. So people can contact me if I'm if I have a business or All right, let's create a page. Same one more time. Same thing. Nothing new. Add page. You have to create a page first. Contact us. This time I'm going to put it under home. It's a sub tab. Meaning when someone highlights my home tab, it will come up. All right, beautiful. If I click here, you'll see it. It's contact us right here. All right, let's add the media box. And save layout. And we're almost done. We go now to edit pages, which is second mode. Now that we're at the edit pages, we have to navigate to contact us. So we go to home and click on contact us. I already added it. <laughs> So, but anyway, I added the code by simply doing the same thing, which is source code, add the source code, and then click save. And after clicking save, I went to settings, made sure I was running it in iframe, and then label settings, I click to hide it. But this one, I'm going to say, go ahead, contact us. All right. Just because I'm, I like to live like that. Just crazy. All right. So view pages. Now, this is the final result. We have home. When someone clicks on home, they can go to contact us, and they can contact us. All right, so, um, you know, you could use your imagination. You could do whatever you like. There's so much you could do. You have a, a module box editor. You can add whatever art you like. You can do whatever you like. Um, and here, this here, only the admin views it. So your users will not see this. Um, I hope we have uh, convinced you of how cool iWiPay is, iWiPage, and hopefully uh, we'll see you creating cool pages. Thank you very much.